Hey Crusher, it's uh, Matteo from GMB Crush here. In today's video, I will walk you through the essential elements to consider when uh, conducting a GBP audit for local SEO. Plus, I will show you how to realize Redfin to enhance your uh, location pages and leverage my custom GPT for location pages SEO to optimize your interlinking strategies for better geo signals to Google. So here is a breakdown of the steps. So step number one, you can simply log in into GMB Crush and input uh, your keyword, location and uh, geogrid data to validate uh, the location. You can uh, click the change location button, then click select, and then you will move into the next uh, step. In the second step, you will need to choose a GBP profile you want to compare against the top three competitors. So I will select, uh, let's say this. And then in the third step, you will need to select the top three competitors for your niche. So I will select uh, this, uh, this and this. So here, you can uh, then click uh, the confirm button to move into the next step, uh, validate your choices and let uh, GMB Crush uh, collecting all the data for uh, each uh, business profile and website uh, linked to those Google business properties. Once uh, GMB Crush loaded up uh, all the data for each of uh, those uh, GBP profiles, you can then click the wizard button to generate your white label GBP audit report. So now we will focus the discussion in uh, identifying, in um, define the three main factors that you should look at during the GBP audit. So GBP categories, this is the very first things that you should look at. So you should ensure that you choose uh, the right ones the right primary business category and the additional business category and that you align the content of uh, the home page of your website with your primary business category. If you want to learn how you can do this, I will show you later. I will demonstrate how you can utilize my custom GPT for this specific step. So stick with me and I will show you how you can map out your uh, GBP content and the content of your local money site accurately. Okay, so the second factor that you should pay attention, of course, are the location pages of uh, your website. So through the location pages, you are just helping Google in uh, connecting the dots around uh, your business uh, service area. And in uh, this specific example, 50% of the GBP competitors are uh, showing up as an SAB business. So all the GBP profiles without a physical address then uh, we have 20% uh, of the GBP profile showing under the 2715 zip code and so on. In addition to this, you can use my custom GPT for hyperlocal details and uh, interlinking strategy for all your location pages. So bear with me because I will show you now how the location pages SEO GPT works. So let me show you now how the location pages custom GPT works. So once you are in uh, inside the GPT, you can simply click the get started button and uh, the application will request two pieces of information from you. First of all, you need to provide the location pages SEO custom GPT, your uh, primary business location and then your target geo radius. For this specific example, I have inserted Queens in New York as my primary business location, and I have inserted 12 kilometer as my targeted geo radius. So, so it's uh, super important here that you specify the radius in miles or kilometer within you, uh, within which you want to find related location. So it's uh, super important because once you have done that, uh, the application will help you to by listing up uh, related location within your uh, specified radius and also suggest an interlinking strategy for SEO purposes. So as you can see, for a business located in Queens, uh, looking to target location within a 12 uh, kilometers radio, radius, um, the, the application is uh, listing up uh, 
20 location, 20 top related locations ordered by proximity to Queens. So we want to be sure that we are building uh, relevant location pages, relevant location proximity base pages to Queens. So here we have the top 20 locations um, related and ordered by proximity to Queens, Astoria, Long Island City, Sunnyside, Woodside, and so on. Here we have also listed all the related details for uh, the best uh, interlinking strategy. So as you can see here, you should have, of course, a main Queens page and uh, the um, custom GPT say this should be your hub linking out to all the specific neighborhood pages. It provides a general overview of your services in Queen and why you are great, why you are a great choice for residents in these areas. OK, then we should have, of course, uh, hyper local details through the neighborhood pages. OK, each neighborhood page should link back to the main Queens page and to the adjacent neighborhood pages. For example, the Astoria page can link out to Long Island City. Sunny side, wood side pages, and so on. Yes, you should also have, you should also include local landmarks and events, testimonial or case study to each page. As you can see here, I'm additionally asking for the full interlinking strategy list and uh, the um, location pages SEO GPT says creating a comprehensive interlinking strategy involves systematically connecting your main Queens business location page with each specific neighborhood page and also interlinking those neighborhood pages where appropriate. So here is how to structure this uh, for the best SEO impact. So we have uh, in this case, the main Queens page with an overview, additional details uh, about uh, the linking to neighborhood pages strategy neighborhood pages details so each neighborhood page should include the specific services offered local testimonials and you should also link uh, interlink these specific uh, pages back to the main queen's page as we say before and additionally to power up your neighborhood pages you should start interlinking to the edison neighborhoods so as you can see here, we have an additional detailed interlinking between neighborhood pages. So for a story, we should have uh, links to Long Island City, Sunnyside, Woodside. For Long Island City, we should have linking links pointing to Astoria, Sunnyside, Woodside and Helmerhurst and so on. OK. Here is the full strategy, additional strategies. Of course, you should pay attention about uh, implementing the breadcrumbs on each page for um, a quick and easy navigation to reinforce the, the site uh, structure. Footer links, uh, you should consider including a section in the footer for uh, top neighborhoods to boost uh, visibility and easy access to those pages. And uh, of course, to ensure that each page is optimized for local search terms, you should include the neighborhoods names in titles and the meta details of each page. OK, additionally, be sure that you are including engaging local content. Just go behind the service details. You can include information about local events, landmarks, or history to enrich uh, that uh, those pages are engaging with your community. OK, before moving forward uh, with the rest of the training, let me now make uh, a quick summary of uh, the best strategies that we learned so far from the beginning of this video. So strategy number one, you should creating, you should building your pages, your location pages targeting the exact location of your competitors, Google business profiles, and you can gather all the data from the zip code comparison tab of uh, the GMB crash wizard audit report. If you want to grab uh, with a single click all your GBP profile competitors location, you can simply click to the export 
to CSV button. Strategy number two, if you have a specific radius where you want to increase visibility for your Google business profile, you can utilize the custom location pages GPT of GMB Crush. You will find the link in the video description. Strategy number three, let's now explore how to extract additional location data using GMB Crush to create powerful location pages that boost GeoGrid rankings. So step number one, you simply need to log in inside GMB Crush and click the GeoGrid Pro feature. So once you are inside the dashboard, you need to input a title of the project, input your primary business keyword and choose your business location. Here in the choose business location section, you simply need to type the company uh, business name and validate your choice. If you cannot find a specific GBP profile or if you are searching for an an SAB, you can try an advanced search using the advanced search method here. You can enter a specific search location and then enter the business name, then click find business to complete the advanced search mode. Step number two, you can adjust the center of the search by simply moving the pin on the map, but it's advisable to leave it at the default location as GMB Crush automatically selects the exact location of the chosen GBP profile. Step number three, to get a comprehensive location data, set the location distance between the point to one kilometer and choose a grid size of nine per nine. Then click start scan to initiate the scan process. Once GMB Crush has loaded all the data, you can simply refresh the page and then scroll down to visualize the GeoGrid ranking data. So here are some key data points to further investigate. Number one, the GBP profile with the Chrome icon represents the profile with the highest location authority for the selected geographic radius. This profile ranks better across uh, multiple locations compared uh, to the competition. And it's important for you to audit this specific Google business profile and uh, its linked local money site to identify content gaps and optimization opportunities. Number two, if you set the refresh frequency to weekly or monthly, or if you want to refresh the ranking manually by simply clicking the refresh all or the refresh now button, you will see which profiles are gaining ranking positions over time. If a specific Google business profile consistently improves its ranking over several scans, it's worth auditing both the profile and the website to identify any gaps. It's now time to access all the location data details you need to create additional powerful location pages so you simply need to click the download the coordinate CSV button and uh, this will provide you with a nice easy to read report that includes a list of geo coordinates, the exact locations corresponding to each ranking pin, the ranking position of your Google business profile for each location. To further boost your uh, rankings in those locations you should consider. Number one, building location pages targeting those specific areas. Number two, driving paid traffic such as Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, or YouTube ads to your Google business profile from those locations. Number three, creating Google business posts that link back to these specific location pages once they are created. And number four, developing content with a regional focus approach for your blog post using the GMB Crush GeoSylon GPT. You can find a quick access link in the video description or in the first pinned comment. Let me now additionally show you how you can uh, leverage uh, the authority and the UX of huge authority sites such as uh, Redfin, which is uh, a huge uh, uh, website that operates in, uh, real in the real estate niche. So I will show you now how you can uh, extract key details to power up your uh, location pages to create and add hyperlocal details to your content strategy. 
power up uh, your location pages if you want to know how you can add additional hyper relevant content inside your money site inside your location pages and service pages i highly recommend you to have a look at uh, the redfin.com website this is a huge uh, business a huge website that uh, operates in the uh, real estate niche so it's um, it's really cool. You can uh, simply input here your uh, target location. In this uh, specific example, we are targeting again Bowie in Maryland. And then as you can see, there are several sections that um, are adding a nice uh, hyper, hyper uh, local relevant touch to, to each page. So for this specific main page, we have details about uh, living in Bowie MD. So we got like details related to school, climate, uh, things to do, transportation details. Um, it's uh, super cool. There are se several additional tabs um, for each main section. So we got like, for example, for schools, we got the other main section and then we got like uh, subsections related to elementary school, middle schools, high schools, uh, transportation details. And then uh, if you scroll down, there are also um, relevant frequently asked questions. I really recommend you to have a look uh, at uh, this main page and then to visit uh, the city guide page here so once you land inside the city guide the location page the city guide bowie md uh, landing page you can immediately see how great the user experience is each tab it's uh, providing you with uh, loads of the details such as a quick overview additional details of uh, living in bowie cost of living in bowie details related to migration, things to do, transportation details, and so on. Additionally, you can uh, dig deeper inside, um, for example, the best things to do in Bowie section by simply click each content window to access further details as well. What sets these uh, pages apart? It's, of course, the great user experience because you can easily navigate between section, you can expand content windows to expand and explore further details. This well-designed page enriches your uh, main content, of course, with the uh, valuable hyperlocal information. And this is the main reason why when you are creating location pages, you should absolutely prioritize incorporating hyperlocal details to enhance their relevance and enrich your user experience. These details contributes to the overall quality of your location pages, neighborhood pages, and uh, facilitate easily, easy interlink. So in line with the, our previous points of uh, discussion, you should ensure you have uh, a central page such as uh, the Queen's page for, uh, for the, the specific example we have seen together. And then you should utilize this uh, Queen's hub page to interlink all your neighborhood and location pages and additionally you should have a uh, strategic interlink strategy for all your neighborhood and location pages to reinforce the geographical the geo signals sent to google optimizing for proximity based rankings